Welcome to the back of the net match day vlog. We're outside the Brunswick, it's Boxing Day. Look, hope you've had a very Merry Christmas. Today, Bournemouth face Fulham. In a really interesting clash between Andoni Oriola, who's not gonna be on the bench, and Marco Silva. Can Cherries get something today? Look, there's gonna be a number of people in the pub. We're gonna have a quick chat with them, but then we're gonna get off to the ground and hopefully cheer on the Cherries to three points. Let's go in, come on. Happy Christmas, Jeff. Yes, happy Christmas. So, did, um, did Father Christmas bring you everything you wanted? Oh, everything and more. 3-2, last minute win. What, can you, what, what, can, what more could a man ask for? Will it be the same today? Can we get three points? Yeah, I think I feel quietly confident. Uh, Fulham missing Jimenez and probably without William as well. Yeah, I think we'll be in good shape to beat him. Here's Ryan. How are you, mate? All right? Yeah, good. Confident. Have, have you got over that win on Saturday? No. <laughs> it feels so, like... So, so good. Um, yeah, it's not really got over it. Christmas was all right, but that was better. <laughs> but you said you're confident, though. Um, yeah, why not? So do you think we'll smash Fulham or do you think it'll be a cheeky one where we grind it out? I don't think we'll smash him. Um, I would hate to see Harry Wilson score. Oh, yeah. um, but I think we can nick it. I'm going to say 2-1. I said that for us. Yeah. But I'll take a, any sort of win today. will be fine. Here's Kieran. Mate, loving this retro kit. That's the thing of well, beauty, mate. I was saying before, I've seen too many people at Forest with a better shirt than me, so I had to bring out the big guns today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Fulham, I, I mean, apart from their result recently against uh, Burnley, they've had a really good upturn of form. Do you think that loss at home to the Clarets is maybe going to spark them into action a little bit today. They're, they're going to be a tough so. test. I think I think it's a one game. Two five nils don't happen for no reason. So, yeah, I think it'll be a tough game, but I'd back us at the moment against um, anyone. Hang on. Sorry, by the way, Forest, Forest have just scored. They're 2-1 up over Newcastle. Wow. So, sorry, mate. Your prediction was? Uh, close one. I think 2-1 again, maybe, but... You know, the, as the games go by, our results looking better and better. Yeah, well, fair, two, fair play to the Forest a uh, lot, by the way, because, yeah, that's uh, that's impressive after last week. Mentally strong. Um, a Jordan with a pint. We never How see we? that. How are um, we? Yeah, good, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Um, saw you at Palace, mate. That was a win. Yeah, uh, um, I only see 2-0s. Um, yeah. Last year I saw three 2-0 defeats. This year I've seen one 2-0 win, so it's 2-0 win today, isn't it? 2-0 really? win. It's banker, really. You get 2-0. <laughs> So 2-1 uh, to uh, Forrest then, mate. I mean, that makes our result look even better than what it, it was, does. maybe. It does. And uh, at the start of the game, I was going, oh, I want Newcastle. And now I'm going, how far are Newcastle away? <laughs> Just saying. Um, yeah, I feel Friday, though. Yeah. Always feel Friday. But it's still a long way to go. Glad to be recorded. How are you feeling about today? Yeah. Um, I, I would have taken four out of two. So the three makes me feel like I want to win. I think we can win the game. But draw won't be the worst, worst result in the world. I think people need to remember our injury. I think Lewis is going to be out yeah, yeah. by the looks of it, Cause just because it was only a couple of days ago, wasn't it? Um, obviously, we haven't got a left back, so it's going to be difficult. Um, but and Fulham are unknown, but they're so consistently inconsistent. Well, that Burnley one was a little bit yeah. of a shock, really, given their form after that. They were smashing teams. Yeah, so you kind of feel like they like win, lose, win, so you don't. But listen, we've got a good record against against Fulham. Uh, I think if we get the first goal, and you know we've got Dom on fire, so yeah, we still got to be confident. We're in, we're in good spirits, mate. Um, but no Andoni on the bench. Mm. You know, we need him there. I'm going to miss him. I am going to miss him. But What's your um, prediction? What are you going for then? I bet everyone's gone 2-1, haven't they? Yeah. I feel like that's the one today. Um, so Apart from your brother, he's gone 2-0. He's gone 2-0, is he? Um, I'll go I'll go for a... You know what? I'm going to go for a 3-2 Bournemouth. Yeah. Another free 2 -er. Yeah, you know, more one goals. And I'm going to go Wilder. Kiefer Moore off the bench for a winner. Pub done. Good to briefly catch up with a load of cherries, but now it's off to the game. Come on. We've arrived at Dean Court. Look at it, what a beautiful place. What a beautiful face. <laughs> yes. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you? Did Santa's sack unleash some goodness <laughs> for you? As always. Yeah, no, yeah. it was good. I, I must have been a really, really good boy this year, which was touch and go for a while. But yeah, no, it was good. Nice Christmas. What about yourself? Yeah, very good, mate. Very good. But you know what I want? Three points. 
I want three points, is, yeah. Do you reckon we get it, say? Because they've been a bit up and down. They've been smashing teams. Then the last result was a bit of a shock. They lost at home to Burnley 2-0. Burnley struggling for points. But now... Yeah, no, I'm optimistic today. Is it, This is the first time they've been here since the Luton game, isn't it? I, I yes, think. Yeah, 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 so yeah. obviously I was at that game as well. I think Fulham are a good side. Mm. I, I think they, you know, they, they, they're getting, picking up some good results uh, on the road and, and at home, but more so at home. But yeah, no, I, I'm confident Bournemouth will get a decent result today. I think it'll be tight. I think there'll be one goal in it, to be honest. But yeah, let's have three points today. We're here with Cherry's fan, Sophia. How are you? Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, do you think we're going to win today? Yeah. What do you think the score's going to be? Um, maybe, actually I think we might draw, it might be 2-all. 2-all, but um, what player would you like to see coming back? Because I know that you've got um, a certain player that you really like and we're not sure whether he's going to be available I or like not. I like lots of players, but I think it would be nice to see Kirkhead back. Mm, we don't know whether he is, it may be too soon, we'll get the team news in a bit. But, a draw we're going for from Sophia. Up the cherries. Yay, up the cherries. <laughs> Chris Wood hat trick for yeah. Nottingham Forest. We, I was just saying, um, they would have taken three points from two games. Yeah, it probably, probably just happened in the wrong way round for them, eh? Yeah, I don't. Wow. Um, I never thought I'd see Newcastle get taken over by a nation, and Chris Wood scored a hat trick against them. I mean, <laughs> mental. But um, yeah, it feels like one of them ones where a player goes back to his former club, mm. and you know, nice little seg segue. Harry Wilson's actually on the bench for Fulham. Well, I was about to say, yeah, what's the team me. news, Tom? Uh, let's start with Bournemouth. Let's go down. Uh, we've Lost Lewis Cook as we expected, so Alex Scott's come in. And then we have bought in Justin Clive at Philip Billing, but Cook's completely gone out of the squad, so Max Ahrens is back on the bench. So okay. that's changes really. I'm I mean, Clover didn't come on, did he, in the last game, so I thought we might use him today. Dango is still at left back. Um, but nice to have Aaron's available on the bench yeah, if yeah. we need to change it. Lewis obviously got an injury, which is a shame. Um, but we're kind of, yeah, it's not too many surprises in there. I think he'll go to Alex Scott, give me 60, Royal Felton, give me half hour, or bill him. Um, and then for them, they've kind of, as expected, they've taken out Castagna, bought in Tete. Um, and then they're playing, yeah, no William. That was the one that was a doubt. He's out. So they're playing uh, Deckard over Reed. And then they've, they obviously haven't got him and there's up top either, as we knew. So, yeah, the only surprise was that Harry Wilson on the bench for him. I thought he'd start. But you never know at this stage of the season because it's so many quick games. So you just kind of rotate as best you can. Tom was just saying in the pub to me, he said, look, Sam, I know we didn't have a preview this time around because it was a quick turnaround. But these are the teams I'm predicting. And it was exactly right, wasn't weird, it? Like, yeah, both, the, yeah, both weird, 11. Man. Yeah, I so. said to you, I said, there's definitely no way Harry Wilson does start. But Absolutely. I'm not going to put him in anyway. No, yeah, yeah exactly. I just had that feeling so yeah all good but no I'm confident but it's, it's a weird one with, with Fulham we've got a good record against them but as we said before they're really you don't really know what Fulham are going to get no. so it's going to be a tough game um, see how Dango gets on at left back but I'm just I'm pleased we've got Aaron's as the option if we need to make it a little bit more stable but yeah so why not why not win this have a good game we'll be fine by the way mum did you just say mum by the way mate yeah my mum's here today <laughs> That's, That's the first time I called you mum. That's yeah. like at school when you call a teacher mum or dad. Yeah, it is, but I'm going to go find your mum. Come on, mum. Early cross, early cross, managed to dango again. Oh, that's good skill. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, wow. That shot was nearer me than the goal. Awful. Right. Put it back, put it back. Oh, go on. Oh, oh bloody hell, man. That was a save, mate. Yes, yes, save. My God. Mate, we've grown into the game now, haven't we? I don't look tired. Yeah, he's getting in behind. Chris in the middle as well. Oh, they started all right as well. They're a good team, but yeah, come on, we're great chances. Oh yeah, that's an enormous save. Yeah. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Good save by the keeper. Was it? Five it looks the most likely today. Oh, well worked. You know what though? I think he should have hit it first time rather than take extra touch. Yeah. He's not confident in front of goal at the moment, though, is he? Corner. Come on. Oh, hello. Well 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 oh, he's out of his goal. Oh, my God. Oh, 
my god! What's Leno moaning about? He, he, he can't be all. moaning. Leno fucked it. Leno fucked it. Right, we've still got. Come on, boys. Build some momentum. We need, we need to go off. That's like. Oh. That was never a shot. Was that a shot from Dongo with that cross? That was a cross. That was a cross. That was how good his cross in a minute here. He gets on target. Really good goal, wasn't it? You are. You know, it was a really good goal. Right, can I just say, I come down, I literally took a photo. There's about 120 people down there. So it wasn't just me who missed the goal, right? So many people go down. But anyway, talk me through it. That was because um, Smithy went down, then he injured yeah. on 38. So everyone went down. I thought everyone's coming here. Yeah, so what happened then? Uh, well, everyone's telling me that Alex Scott went on a mad run. And then apparently Botto accidentally said Alex Scott scored. He did. But it was Cliver. Uh, he says. made jinky feet and then he set Cliver up. I think Leno was. That's why I've heard, Rupi, yeah. Rupi. But yeah, I mean, everyone's saying it, and I think I agree. Like, that's why you want Scott a little bit further. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, imagine Lewis Cook, Christie, and Scott. Ooh. I think we haven't seen that, have we? That three. Right, we got Pete here, but not only Pete, Pitchfork Pete. Pitchfork Pete. What's with the nickname? I look after the pitch at Hammer of the Recreation Club. Yeah. And in January, we're going to go to uh, Jersey. Oh. Wait, in a FA Vars fourth round. Mate, that's that, that's pretty good for Hamworth, you reckon it? I reckon we're going to beat them. We, have, we haven't lost all season. We've, we've played 14 games, yeah. one 13, drawn one. Mate, well, our ball is going to beat Fulham today. That's what everyone's going to be wondering. We'll, we'll one up at half time. It's been all right. Just uh, add that bit of quality when we needed it. I call it 2 1. 2 1. 2 1. Pete's going 2 1. I come out, obviously, just for the goal, and I thought um, it's a fair result. I don't think either team's doing enough to win it. Uh, there's not a lot in the game. I, I actually thought our wingers were a little bit disappointing, Tab yeah. and Semenyo. Yeah, they think, switched them around at yeah, some points trying, and then... trying yeah. bits, but I think um, Dagger's did a really good job at left-back, bless him. I mean, there's a few times where intelligence-wise, as a full-back, which you understand, he's getting caught, but he makes up for it because he's so quick. Um, but I think, yeah, we haven't been right at it. I don't think they have either, but we're one that up, and that's what's happening at the moment, isn't it? So, yeah, uh, Newcastle lost the early kick-off, so keep the score here, win our game and one point off Newcastle. I'm ready with my passport, what about you? Right, we're out for the second half. Come on boys, let's do this. Thank you, what's he gonna do? Sit this in. Twitter account might have to delete itself. Years and days since they've got a 
unless Told they you. are find a way to rule this out. Told you again. <laughs> you did say. Oh yeah. This this man said it earlier. Right. Don't say that. Don't do not say that. <laughs> right. Come there, Dominic. Oh yeah. Not the first time he had a score of penalty. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, pressure. Yeah, pressure. Yeah, pressure. Come on, Dominic. Come on, Dominic. Come on, Dominic. Come on, Dominic. Fucking hell, Lalo just pushed a fucking ball boy. And you know what, fair play to the ball boy, he's laughing it off. And he, he's okay with it. Someone's giving him a hug down there, and he doesn't really care. But yeah, the ball boy was just about to give the ball back, and Lalo came over and shoved him over. Bit weird. Who's the wanker? Who's the wanker? Who's the wanker in the green? He just gave him a hug after all that shit we've been giving him. And the football's okay with it. Maybe you'll give him his shirt. Fucking hell. Nice little cheeky effort from Brooks to finish. Three or four minutes of injury time, mate. We haven't been troubled, have we, today? No. It's been so professional. It's, uh... It's the type of saying, it's the type of thing that teams have done to us regularly in the Premier League and we're doing it to teams that yeah. we just look so good. Grim. No! Oh my god! He was offside, so he let it happen. There's a big close to it. I'm offside, I'll fucking hit it with the outside of my boots. There's a back in it. <laughs> Dango deserves it. Dango! Yeah, everyone's the worst player I've ever seen. Dango! 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 Oh, Sidney. Oh, is he going to shoot? Where's he going to shoot? Where's he going to shoot? Oh, 
gentlemen, 3 0. Absolutely beautiful. I need to see this league table, man. Oh, best tasty. Beautiful. Right, let's do fan cams. Come on. Right, right side being caught on the boys now. Fairly routine win. Up oh, front. Oh, we've got a pair. We've got a Give them a mention, mate. Once we win one up, I couldn't see him coming back into it. In the car, fan cams done. Betty P, great job as usual. Fan cams are going right up right now. We might have them up by six o'clock. Good win, wasn't it? Um, it was fairly routine. It was one of those kind of professional wins, if you want to call it that. I think the first half, it was fairly even, really, apart from a goalkeeping blooper. Should have been even, but I always feel, feel as though when we shoot towards the North Stand, we just turn it on a little a bit. And Donny Ariola will have um, had his say in the change room half time. I, pr I presume they can come into the change room still, despite not being on the bench. And you know what? The team came out and uh, they just they slowly dismantled Fulham. I thought they didn't. The cot just didn't really have a look in. To be fair, and when you've got players like Billing and Sinistera coming on, I mean, oh my goodness, really good. But what was really good was some performances from players like Alex Scott, Dango at left back, who's been. People have been heaping praise on him and how Dom Solanke got man of the match, I don't really know. Um, no, Dom worked hard as ever. There were a few players that were fairly quiet. Taff, for instance, he tried a flick in the second half when I felt he should have hit it first time. But moments like that just shows you we've got a team in confidence. So despite the, the groans of, oh, he should have shot, it's quite nice that we're trying that. So we're in a good frame of mind and look, we're playing some real confident, exhilarating football, despite not everyone being on top form. Semenyo was all right. As I say, Tav was okay, but we're grinding them out and we go to Spurs now on New Year's Eve. Hopefully it'll be a good one, but is Tom's prophecy going to come true? Not losing in December? Surely Iriola's on his way to that manager of the month trophy. Either way, thanks for watching the vlog. More content as ever coming out very soon. Thanks for supporting the channel as ever. Other cherries. See you in the next one. You reds. By the way, 